Welcome, Welcome to another Leverloo video. In today's video, which apple variety is the best? Now, if you're like me, you've wandered down many a grocery store, saw the myriad of apple choices and kind of chosen randomly every time. I don't know which apple I like, and that's a problem. Which apple do you like? I like them all. See, all that's not a problem, thing. that's a solution, but we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Which apple variety is best? So before us today, we have six varieties. Those varieties include Pink Lady, Red Delicious, Gala, Cosmic Crisp, Honey Crisp, and Jonah Gold. Those are the varieties of apples that we will be trying today. I cut the apples and I labeled them. She then relabeled my labels, so I don't know which is which, and she doesn't know which is which, and we're gonna compare them all to each other to definitively decide which apple we like the best. So I'm going in this with a root. I am rooting <laughs> for Cosmic Crisp just because I'm very excited by the concept of it. Yes. It's an apple that lasts up to a year. So it's really, it's a, like an apple that stays fresh really, really long time. And I love that. In this household, we have been closely monitoring the development of the Cosmic Crisp varietal and are very excited to try it. This will actually be our first time ever trying the Cosmic Crisp. They originated in Washington yes. State for those who are curious. These plates are not in any order, so without further ado, just start on one end or make our way down. All right, we're gonna start right here. The first apple is, I don't know. We do not know which is the first apple, but let's go on in. Mmm. Very sweet. That is so good. Yeah. That's really juicy. Immensely sweet, a very, very sweet apple. Yeah, you wouldn't want to put this in a dessert, I don't think, because it would be too sweet at that point. I'm gonna save a little bit. But I was gonna save the rest of this. But <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's a very enjoyable, just like snacking apple. It is, that's a snacking apple right that's there. That's a good snacking apple. Um, sure. I enjoyed it immensely. We can't really compare it to anything, so let's just grab the next one. You know what, I like that idea. This one is lighter in appearance and a bit smaller. This one also looks a little bit sadder, I'm not gonna lie. Not nearly as juicy. It's mm -hmm. a much drier apple. I'm gonna this say is this sour. is worse. This is sour. What do you think, worse than that one? I think so too. This apple is just not as good. I don't know why you would want this one. It almost, this tastes more potato-like, if that makes sense. It's like drier and- No, I get you, like the texture is really yeah. potato-y. This is actually like, really sour like if i if you handed this to me and i was like blindfolded i would think this was a green apple maybe it'd be used for like a pie or something that would work hmm. yeah but this this is like weirdly sour as the other one was very like sweet like nectar yeah we're gonna put it right here and as we go down the line we'll put, put the ones we like more and more on the set so far this one is much better than that one i don't know if much is the correct determination Actually, it might be. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's much better. Okay. I could foresee Maybe. another apple going in the middle. There could be saying. an upset. All right, up next, this one is brighter red than the other two. Well, yeah, but mine has some yellow on it. Yeah, mine also has some yellow. It's not like bright red. Yeah, All right. it's pretty, apples are so beautiful. You could paint them. This has all the juiciness of the first one, but it's not nearly as sweet, which is interesting. This hurts. It's very firm. This is really, like the outside here is much harder than the other two outsides. And as someone that eats apples, I don't like that. I don't like how firm it is, but I think taste and sweetness wise, it's my favorite. What do you I'm think? I'm docking points. What do you, so where would this go for you? This goes at the bottom for me. Bottom for just cause it's too firm. Cause I'm worried it might just be a little less ripe than the other ones. That's what I'm trying not to choose it too no, hard. No, I don't but. know. It's just like, I think it might just have a very harder casing. Maybe. Which I am not a fan of for my teeth Well, sake. I think it goes here and you think it goes here. Do you want to put it in the middle for now? Oh, sure. We'll put them in the middle for now. There's already a little bit of a disagreement, yeah. <laughs> but I'm a bit mad about that. We can go over them all again later. I'm Next up, we have this one that is very dark red. I'm guessing this one's going to be the red delicious. I think so too. I'm not dark, exactly But like I'm trying shocked. not to like uh, overanalyze and guess, but. That one's even sweeter than the first one. Do you think so? Yeah. I was about to say, I think it's sweeter than that one, but not as sweet as that one. I'm gonna try a tiny Do bit of this one again. Yeah, I do. 
You don't no. think so? I don't know. I don't think I agree with that. No, no. We as humans do have different types of taste buds though, so what I may be tasting, someone else will be tasting at home as well. But I like this one and this one about the same. I think I like this one slightly more than this one. I think I'm about the same there. So do you want, do you want to put them right here? Okay, so we, what did we like about this one? We like that it wasn't overly, it's, overly sweet. It was nice and sweet though. But it is still sweet. I, mm. It's not too firm for me. Yeah. Which I also appreciate. This is a slightly smaller apple. They're all starting to oxidize a little bit. I know you can stop that from happening by laying some lemon juice on it, but we, I was worried that would affect the taste too much. So, yep. fifth apple varietal going in. This one already kind of tastes like applesauce. Like it's super soft. It reminds me kind of of what is the other one we thought was kind of potato-y, but it's more spongy and less potato-y. What do you think? This one's weird. I've definitely like, I think this is the apple that I have the most, if I had to guess, honestly. It just tastes familiar. It does taste very familiar. And I always prefer other apples to this. Interesting. So this one's pretty low this for me, the potato-y quality that it has. Yeah, this is just a less sweet version of this. It's the same kind of texture-y. No, this is just less sour. Maybe sour is better over than sweet. Where'd you put this This at? is extremely familiar. I put it at the bottom. The bottom, not exciting, <laughs> nothing too interesting. The last apple. isn't necessarily apple. a good thing. I think it's just what I gravitate towards in the shelves on accident, which is weird because now I know that I've been gravitating towards the one I dislike a lot. <laughs> <laughs> last apple going in. This was also potato-y. Yeah, but there's like a distinct difference, but like these three are potato-y. These three are not. Yeah, but this one's better than these two. I agree, I definitely agree. You know what's interesting? It's got a nice flavor palette to it. There's less variety than I expected. Between six different types of apples, I will say there's much less variety than I expected. Um, I'm pretty confident in these ones. These ones, maybe not so much the ranking. I feel like we should, I might nibble a little bit more on these and kind of decide. What do you think? I hate that this has happened again. In our mustard taste test video, the first mustard we tasted was our favorite. And in this one, the it's, exact same thing has happened. Yeah. Is that the exact same thing? I think so. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me take a little munch of this one again. Very good, okay. No, this one's much better than this one, I think. Mm -hmm. Especially a second time, in my opinion. I'm not gonna say objectively, but I prefer this one like strongly to this one. What do you think? They're both really good. Are they, are they about the same for you? Or do you still prefer that one? Because I'd be willing to say that they're, so, both very, they're both very good, but I do prefer that one. I think I prefer this one in the long term okay. ways because this one's a little too sweet. Okay. If I sit down and snack on an apple, sometimes I feel like my mouth feels coated in like sugar afterwards. Okay. And I think that would give me that vibe. So I think I would have to say that one's my favorite. Okay. We can kind of tie these, put them on tie. Yeah. But now I want to try this one and compare it to see where they go. This one's my favorite now. That one's your favorite. I Was this think, the one that I didn't like earlier? I don't know. This one's my favorite now, I think, actually. I'm confused. <laughs> I think for me, it goes this one, then this one, then this one. So I agree that this one is better than this one. We both agree on that. So let's go ahead and move it to here. I think that one is my favorite now, actually. And between these two, which do you prefer? The one I, I prefer know. more or this one? Because you said this one, but now you say you like that one even more than that one. I don't know. You can swap them, honestly. Okay, like I'm, I'm going to okay do this, that. and now I'm deciding between these two. So I think I was a bit blinded before by my. Uh, I think I, I I bit into it and went to my gums a bit, and I think mm. that was what blinded you me. You were like, a bit. "Oh, this is too firm. I, like, I don't like it." This is too hard for my teeth. But I took some more bites, and it's very. It's actually very good. These are very very good. Both of these, they're not that different either. One's definitely more sweet. The 
Second one, which I'm worried is Red Delicious, and I'm worried that we're gonna get memed on for liking Red Delicious, but. <laughs> they're both very good. I'm, I'm happy with this, good. honestly. I'm honestly I, happy with There's so little order. difference between these two in my mind. Like they're different, but as far as which is better, that I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with this ordering okay. as well. All right, so without further ado, I think what we're going to do is see which one we like the most, and we're going to do it from worst to best. So in last place, which apple is this? She wrote a name on the bottom. This one says, Cooking Mama. <laughs> cooking Mama. So Cooking funny. Mama, which translates to a number, and I know which one is which. So what? Cooking Mama is number five. Number five, and number five is Red Delicious. Oh my God! Wait, so, so Red Delicious is the worst tasting apple. Wow! I thought that I thought 100% that was gonna be Red Delicious because it was very red. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. If you have to put delicious in your name, it's probably because you're trying to do some propaganda or something. Because that's what the Russians do. Exactly. They call everything Red Delicious. Red Delicious, not a good apple. Maybe not there's good. some like maybe it's good for baking. Maybe it's good for some certain form of apple, apple. sauces for sure. Maybe, maybe, but so many better apples. Do not be buying Red wow. Delicious. Wow, that was like unanimously just yeah. bottom, like immediately bottom. In fifth place, we have. Sonic. Sonic is what one? Number four. Number four. Number four is Pink Lady. Pink That's Lady. That's interesting because I know I've purchased Pink Lady just because it sounds pretty. And again, I hadn't tasted the apples before. I will no longer be buying Pink Lady. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, Pink Lady. Very potatoey. Very. Yeah, there's like, so many better. Not yeah. very juicy, honestly. Just so many better. In fourth place, we have Mario, which translates to number six. Number six is Gala. Which is, I think, the I one said, I buy the most often. And I said that yes. was like really familiar. Yes. So yeah, this is the one I buy the most often. It's a decent apple, but there's better. It's that probably one? the best of the not very juicy ones. Is that the one I said was really familiar, or was that this one? I don't remember. But I, all these are the three that I buy the most. These are the ones I don't buy as and often. And these are the ones so, we didn't like. Yeah. How crazy is that? This is why you gotta expand your horizons. You need my to friends. try everything to know what you like. So this means Cosmic Crisp is already in the top three. Which is good. Which is amazing, because we were having a hard time with the top three anyway. Yeah, so, all three of these are solid. They're all, they're all really solid. Because like, we different were splitting ways. hairs. It depends how much like you, sweetness you want, basically, and stuff yeah. like that. All right. In third place is Call of Duty, which is number two. Jonah Gold. This is the Jonah Gold, which I didn't even know what that was. I didn't know if it was Yana Gold, Jonah Gold. I didn't know about that one either. Yeah, so pretty solid apple, interesting. Cosmic Crisp is in the top two. I'm actually scared. All right, in second place, Metal Gear. Number three. Cosmic Crisp. The it Cosmic Crisp. Second. Wow. The Cosmic Crisp is second. It's first, it's dense. This is really sweet. For the record, let it show that I thought this one was first place. You think? <laughs> yeah. That one's a little too sweet for me. That's fair. So that means in first place, I didn't want this one to win because when I told people that I was doing this, they said that this was the best variety. And I, I heard from a young age that this is many people's favorite, so I assume it was overrated. But in first place, Honey Crisp. Are you kidding? Honey Crisp. You know, wow. it's popular for a reason, I guess. So. Take it from the apple eating professionals. If you're going to buy an apple, we're just a couple apple eaters. If anyway. you want something classic and well respected for a reason, Honeycrisp might be your apple. But if you want to try something new, if you want something a little bit more sweet that lasts a really long time, then go yeah. with the Cosmic Crisp. It's honestly, honestly amazing. Still, yeah, very good. Still very, very solid. Good. Avoid like, the yeah. Red Delicious, the Pink Lady, and the Gala. They're just they leave a lot to be desired, especially when compared to other apples. They really do. That's actually insane that like three different types. Yeah. Two. Two. Well, <laughs> two, two, two of distinct threes. textural types. Wait, you, so the first one was Atomic Heart. Oh yeah, so Atomic Heart <laughs> translated to Honey there you Crisp. Go. I so, did that for your viewers, thank that, you. like Atomic Heart. Yeah, um, cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other foods that have many different varieties, let us know and we can taste them and decide which is best. If you also have an opinion on this that you want to share, keep it to yourself. We don't care. Yo, I don't <laughs> want to hear your opinion about apples because like, we're we already, already the experts. So like, we did it. What did could you, you possibly add? Did you sit down and do a blind tasting? No, they didn't. We did. Absolutely not, you fool. We did. <laughs> Check out some of our other videos. We taste and rank mustard. So if you want to know what mustard you like, that'll be somewhere. 
Uh, we do hot chocolate. We do Hershey's chocolate? kisses. We, we do actual chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. So we are basically professional tasters. Yeah, our tongues have done a lot of work in the last year, and they will continue to do a lot it's of work. It's all for you guys. For you. Thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next Leverloo video. Goodbye. Bye.